Hello and welcome to yet another sit down video updating you about what's going to be happening on the channel in the coming weeks and months. Yeah, I know I said in the last video that uh, I probably won't be doing another sit down video until the end of the year. I did one like mid summer, well, a couple of weeks ago, but you know, and I wasn't planning to do one at the end of summer. I was planning to wait until the end of the year, uh, review the year, and give you a bit of mon a montage of what's happened this year, the highlights. I will still be doing that, but just stuff's crept up lately that I thought, you know what, it's worth me doing another sit down video because there's going to be a couple of things happening in the next coming weeks and I do have some new plans and ideas that have sort of come up since that last sit, come up with since that last sat, sit down video. Uh, so I thought, you know what, instead of just um, releasing it on social media like my Twitter and my Instagram, I thought, you know what, let's not leave you guys on YouTube out. I'm not posting anything on Twitter and Instagram yet about uh, what's to come, but I'll explain about that a bit more later. Uh, but I thought it'd be unfair to watch you guys who just what to not inform you guys who just watch my videos and don't follow me on my social media. And I do encourage you to follow me on social media. The links are down in the description. And I do have... Um, both my Twitter and Instagram usernames uh, on the end card at the end of this video and at the end of all my videos. So I do encourage you to go and follow me. But those of you, especially younger viewers, who may not follow me on social ma media or just any of you who just don't do social media, I thought it would be unfair to leave you guys out. So I thought, you know what, I'll come and sit down and do a video explaining what's to come on the channel again. I know. Um, yeah, this won't be a regular thing, it's just that some things have crept up. Uh, these sorts of videos will probably just get released when things crop up, but I'm pretty sure now that I won't be doing another one of these videos until the end of the year. Uh, there won't be as much to talk about as last time, as I'm not, I've am not. i only released three videos since then, uh, so it won't be as long as last time, so hopefully not as much waffling on for you guys. I know I'm starting to waffle on now, so let's get into it. So first of all then, uh, let's talk about uh, what I said in last video and kind of what I've done since then. I said in last video that I would be planning a Planet Coaster series, that I'd be releasing some on-offer IPOVs, uh, some other sit-down videos like Top Tens and stuff. Uh, so where have we got with that so far? So it's been two weeks since uh, that video came out. Um, I believe maybe nearly three now. And I have released three videos in three weeks. Um, I know I said that I would be releasing one, maybe two a week. Uh, two of those videos, well, so I stuck to that for the first kind of week. So we had the video um, on uh, early that week about uh, what was to come on the channel. And I said be releasing one to two a week. I did release a video that week that was the 16-8 challenge. If you don't know what the 16-8 challenge is, uh, it was the 16th of August that day the video came out. It's the National Roller Coaster Day. Uh, to celebrate that, I did a challenge in Planet Coaster where I had to build 16 rides, including one roller coaster in basically... No, 8 rides, including one roller coaster in 16 minutes. I'm getting all mixed up now. Uh, I failed the challenge again. I did it last year. So I decided to reattempt it this year again, and I failed again. Uh, so I, as I said, I won't be doing this again for another national roller coaster today. Now uh, that sort of done dusted, I failed. Uh, but yeah, following week then, I did release one video, and that video was on my top ten roller coasters in the UK. Uh, I think it went down quite well. I did mention in that last sit down video that I'd be doing some videos on top tens. And I'm also going to be doing some ride reviews. I'm not starting doing ride reviews yet, but I will start when I uh, just think of a unique format to do those videos in because I don't want them to just be the same as other ride reviews. I want to do my own perspective. I don't just want it to be me reading off a script. Well, it will be reading off a script, but I don't just want it to be me reading off a script with nothing else going on with just like some images or videos of rides. And no disrespect to YouTubers who do that, there's some brilliant YouTubers, even the smaller YouTubers who do ride reviews, it's definitely, it's something that a lot of smaller YouTubers do, um, just to cover stuff that they don't cover in the vlogs. Um, but, you know, I just want 
I don't want to be, I want to make it unique so that it's interesting you, to you guys because there's no point you going to watch a YouTuber, uh, no disrespect to any of them, I'll say once again, one of the other, you, another YouTuber and then just coming to watch me and then it all being the same, like basically the same video repeated again, like what would be the point in that, so Obviously there are going to be a lot of similarities in my videos that I do do on that, but I just want them to have a unique kind of structure, uh, a unique way in which I review the rides. Uh, I'm still kind of finalising my ideas with that, so I'm not going to discuss it in this video, uh, but I will inform you guys on social media, and obviously I'll explain in the first video what's going to kind of go on with my ride reviews and what sections they're going to be in the videos because it's going to be split into different sections um, in the first video of those of those when it does get released uh, I can't confirm when that will be yet uh, ho I'm hoping definitely this year I'll release a video like that um, but yeah anyway enough of the sit down video so that kind of week the reason I only released one I mean I did promise you guys one to two videos a week so I wasn't really breaking that promise uh, I was busy that week, as I said, because that was also the week of the late night riding event at Blackpool Pleasure Beach that I mentioned in the last video that I wanted to go to with Theme Park Mad. Obviously, I was busy doing other things, so I couldn't go with them. Uh, but yeah, uh, that was what it was, really. I couldn't go to late night riding on the 24th. I've still never been to a late night riding, which I'm gutted about. Uh, but... Hopefully, I'm hoping I might get to go to one soon. Uh, but, yeah. The week after that, I did actually have, I'm sorry to say, a week off. I had been working uh, throughout the, the, all these past three, three weeks, pretty much, uh, on a new series for Planet Coaster. And it's just really hard. I did start filming it, but it's just difficult to keep motivation. Like... I feel like part of it's the pressure of me feeling that I'm going to have to release videos often on a series. Um, and no disrespect to, well, if anything, um, you know, I do respect, well, obviously I do respect the YouTubers who do do time-lapse videos of Planet Coaster, uh, like detailed parks, uh, in like a full series, like building the whole park from start to finish, everything's shown every minor detail that gets placed in and these youtubers make such detailed work uh, parks that take hours and hours to create i really don't know how they have the time for it i mean a lot of these youtubers do it as a full-time thing but just i i do not know how on earth they have the patience and just dedication to just do that because i'm struggling I feel like I need to do a small scale amusement park first before jumping to a big theme park because when filming that series I jumped to a big theme park but I feel like and I know this isn't the best for you guys I may have to just show the ride when they're finished obviously I'm going to show every detail but I feel like if I'm forcing myself to like film like the construction and stuff that that, that just takes so much more editing and video and I just lose the motivation and dedication. Uh, so I feel like for you guys to get the most benefit, it's just with me having so much on with college and stuff that gives me little time to play Planet Coaster. Obviously with me doing the other stuff that like with visiting theme parks, like, I mean, Sean from Theme Park Worldwide, for example, I honestly do not know how he has the time to create the Planet Coaster parks he creates. I mean... Shout out to Sean for the dedication for doing that because his parks are really detailed and like some of the best Planet Coaster parks I've seen. I mean there's plenty of great YouTubers who make parks that are just as good but Sean's on par with those like Silverette and stuff who like do just practically Planet Coaster videos. Yet he goes to all these theme parks around the world. I mean he's out this country more than he's in it to be honest. Like... And, yeah, I mean, his Planet Coaster uploads aren't that frequent. He does take a lot of breaks from doing Planet Coaster, which is perfectly understandable. But how he has the dedication to do that is just beyond me. Like, it's crazy. But, yeah, I'm, I just don't have that much dedication. It's just not me. So, um, 
like with me doing all my college stuff, visiting theme parks as well, uh, it just gives me not much time to play Planet Coaster. I've had a lot of time over summer, but I've just kind of like, when you're playing Planet Coaster for ages, and I've heard other YouTubers say this as well, you need a break from it. Because, like, recently I've been playing more of The Sims 3. I promise I will go back to Planet Coaster again. Uh, yeah, I'm having a bit of another Sims 3 phrase at the moment. I referred to that in the last video. But, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm just taking a break from Planet Coaster for a few days. I'll probably go back to it, like, tomorrow or something. Hopefully this video gets released on the Wednesday. So, hopefully the Thursday I'll go back to uh, Planet Coaster uh, doing some more stuff on there. Uh, but yeah, sometimes you just need a break from a game to go and do something else because, you know, if you spend a lot of time on something, it can get a bit tiresome after a while. As you guys will know, especially if you play uh, any form of game, especially Planet Coaster. Anyway, yeah, I took a break from YouTube last week with me having a busy weekend kind of away from theme parks. I just felt a bit like I kind of wanted to, some time to myself, to be honest, to cook. Because although I did enjoy that weekend, it wasn't what I originally kind of intended or wanted to do, obviously. I wanted to go to late night riding, so I thought I'll just take a bit of time off from YouTube. I know that broke the promise to you guys that I'd upload at least once a week every two weeks until the end of summer. No, sorry, at least one video every week, maybe two videos a week until the end of summer. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to take a bit of time for myself. I played some more Planet Coaster and obviously then that was when I took my break and went to The Sims 3. Um, uh, but yeah, anyway that's kind of like the end of kind of what's happened. I did uh, release the Megaphobia POV on Tuesday, uh, that would have been the 3rd of September. Uh, hopefully it's gone online then, I think it was the 3rd of September. Yeah, yeah, 3rd of September that would have been. Uh, but yeah. That brings us up to date, so quickly, I know this is a lot shorter than my other sit down videos, or I hope it is, if it's not then I've clearly waffled on way too much. Uh, but yeah, let me talk about a couple of things that are coming up on the channel. So, you guys who, well, last video, as I said before, I said that I wouldn't be able to go to late night riding with Theme Park Mad, and that I didn't know when I'd be meeting up with them. Well... Uh, I'm happy to say that I might actually be meeting up with Theme Park Mad now this Sunday at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. I say might, and that's very important, might. A few days ago, we were, I, I was talking to, well, Josh from Theme Park Mad about that I might be going to Blackpool Pleasure Beach, and he said he might get there on Sunday, which means if he does, I might do a vlog from Blackpool Pleasure Beach with Theme Park Mad. Uh, that'll depend on the weather because if it's like chucking it down and also depending on how many rides we get on we might I might not vlog like depending on how busy uh, the park is and that uh, but hope but if theme park mods there and it's a good day and it's not too busy then there's no reason why I won't vlog uh, just a word kind of a disclaimer I probably won't vlog on this camera um, this camera, main reason I wanted it was for getting off-ride shots with rides and stuff. Obviously it has a, a good zoom-in function for me to zoom in and get some close-ups of like the big one and icon and anything that I want to zoom in on, to be honest, on the Pleasure Beach or any park. Any small details, it's good at catching the small details. Uh, you know my vlogs are more like montages of the parks, or at least they have been up to now. Obviously with me being theme park mad, this is going to be a lot more kind of a review based vlog. Just getting our thoughts and the stuff of the rides. Uh, it probably won't be as long as my normal vlogs. It'll probably be about 15-20 minutes. Well, similar long length to my normal Blackpool vlogs, but not as long. But not like ridiculously long. Uh, so I thought, just to say me having to carry a big camera around the park on that day. I know you're probably thinking, what on earth? Uh, I just thought that I'd do it. I might change my mind, but I'm probably going to do it on my phone because you're probably going to see, be seeing a lot of us rather than lots of off-ride shots of rides because you'll know I've filmed Blackpool to like, or at least Icon, I've filmed it. I mean, there's plenty of angles you can get Icon, like, it's one of those rides that you just, 
makes you want to film it. But I've filmed the ride left, right and centre, so I've probably got enough video footage of it for now. Uh, I might record some of the Big One soundtrack because hopefully hopefully that's going to be open. Uh, so I'll record some of that. Uh, but, you know, the audio quality is fine on my phone but the vi and the video quality is to the camera, but on my phone is the video quality on my phone is fine to be honest but obviously the camera you have the added advantage of um obviously the zooming in and obviously it's more flexible in terms of that you can kind of change the kind of capture mode and stuff depending on what shots you're getting but for what i want to do on sunday if i do vlog it should be fine just to use my phone i'm sorry if you guys are disappointed by that and wanted a vlog on the camera but yeah, it's not going to be like my other vlogs if we do meet up with Theme Park Mad. It's going to be very review based, so quite a lot of talking will be what it is rather than loads of off ride shots, which is, it's going to be more like what a vlog should be, like a tradition, it's going to be like a very traditional vlog rather than more a montage thing. I mean, you could technically call my montages vlogs. I mean, if you don't know what I mean, it, like I said, it's basically some off-ride shots with some talking over them. They are vlogs, really, but these are without... What I'm film going to film on Sunday, if I do, will be without a doubt a vlog. Um, but, yeah. But, yeah, if I do meet up with Theme Park Mad on Sunday, it's probably just going to be me, Josh and Danielle. You never know. There might be a couple of other people in the vlog but I don't I don't think I don't think there will be to be honest that's if it does happen uh, please note this is we only talked about it briefly a few days ago um, we made no plans for what's going to happen whatsoever but if all goes if all does go to plan and things kind of work out well and stuff then I will do a vlog which um, hopefully they'll get to be in also then, I have a very special announcement about an Alton Towers trip I'm going to be go on, going on on Saturday the 28th of September with the Roller Coaster Club of Great Britain as part of their Woodathon event. If you don't know, the Roller Coaster Great Brit Club of Great Britain is a British coaster club uh, that you can join. I'll put a link in the description to the website where you can sign up for it. Uh, I believe... I I'm not sure the exact price per year, but it's cheap. You pay for the event separately as well. Um, uh, but it is pretty cheap for what you get, to be honest. Because um, the Roller Coaster Club, you get lots of discounts to different theme parks. So it's definitely worth looking into. But anyway, I'm going to be focusing on uh, the Saturday the 28th, which I'm going to be going on. Uh, so basically, this is an Alton Towers event with the Roller Coaster Club. So there's going to be lots of club members there. And basically, it starts at 830 with the roller coaster club, we get what are known as ERSs, which mean exclusive ride sessions. Uh, we've got one at the start of the day and the one at the end of the day, and that's basically where it's just going to be us, and we're going to get to ride um, the the particular rides um, which are part of these ERSs, um, and basically over and over, it's just going to be us, no one else. So we're going to be able to get loads of rides. Uh, in on those rides. I believe the ERSs are an hour long, but I'm not certain on that. I think they're an hour. Uh, but yeah, so what's going to happen is we're going to meet at 8.30 outside the park, and then uh, we're going to go in, and we're, before the park opens, we're going to have an ERS on Nemesis. Now, that is going to be fun, because that's a very intense coaster, but, I mean, you can't complain for a half an hour or an hour on Nemesis to yourselves, can you? I mean, I could be getting, like, you know, 10 rides if we're looking. I mean, that's quite ambitious, but yeah, I'm not sure I'm going to feel after 10 rides on Nemesis if I do get that many. You never know. We might get five. We might get three. It depends how many people go, uh, but I'm guessing we'll get more than one, or hopefully I'll get more than one anyway. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be an intense hour. Uh, then after that, uh, we're going to have free time until 12.30, so that's just a chance to go around with other club members if you want. I don't know anyone from the Roller Coaster Club of Great Britain, but you know, a chance to just go around the park freely so i'll be getting on the likes of galactica oblivion rita 13 wicker man all those sorts of rides you know all the alton towers has to offer i uh, might do hex as well there's congo river rapids uh, there's some of the more family rides runaway mine train as well uh, but yeah and then at 12 30 
Uh, we're going to be meeting in the corporate hospitality suite. I'm not 100% sure what it, that is, uh, but we're going to be meeting in there for, uh, it says an optional hot lunch, and there's also going to be a Q&A session with, I believe it's the management of the uh, uh, Coaster Club and not the management of Volton Towers. I'm not sure what that's going to involve, because I've never done an event like this before, but uh, we're going to be doing a Q&A session with them. And then after that, uh, we're going to get to go back on the park until the uh, uh, park closes, so more free time. And then, uh, at park close, we're going to have an ERS on Wicker Man. I really can't wait for that one. You know me. I mean, hence why it's called Woodathon um, for Wicker Man, obviously. But that is going to be so fun. One hour or half an hour on Wicker Man. I absolutely can't wait for it. You know me. It's my number two roller coaster in the UK. The theming's incredible. The coaster is intense, considering it's a family coaster. That is like a world-class coaster. Arguably the best themed wooden roller coaster in the world. I mean, it, it's just incredible. Um, I'll, I love Wicker Man. Hopefully I'll get some back row rides as well, because um, I, I usually get unlucky. They don't let you choose what seat you're going on Wicker Man. They assign you seats in the station, but... It makes such a big difference between the back and the front. The front is good, but it can be a bit slow in some places. But the back is insane and comparable to something like Woden at Europa Park. I mean, that's obviously more intense, but more kind of similar to that kind of intensity. The back of Wicker Man is incredible. And if you've not experienced Wicker Man before, go and check it out because it's a solid coaster. The one of... No... The best family coaster, sorry, I've ever been on. Because you could still technically class it as a family coaster, to be honest. But it is intense enough for like enthusiasts who love the thrill rides to enjoy it. I cannot wait for that ERS, I really can't. They are also going to a Drayton Manor on the Sunday. However, I'm not going there. Uh, with me having college and stuff, I may have a lot of work to do, which I'll obviously have to do on a Sunday. Uh, that's one reason, and also, um, I will be, um, I'm not that bothered about Drayton Manor, to be honest, it's got quite a few flats. Uh, obviously, the ERS is on the, are on the coaster, so I'd enjoy them, but I'm not too bothered about Drayton Manor, to be honest, so I thought, you know what, I'll just do Towers. Uh, it's cheaper if you do Towers as well. I think we paid about £72, I believe it cost, uh, to do everything at Towers, including the Q&A, the hot lunch and everything. I believe it's costing us £72, which is really good considering it can cost, you know, quite it's quite expensive to just have a day at Alton Towers. I think for this ex these extra ERSs and stuff we're getting, we're going to get so many more rides in, plus the hot lunch, plus the Q&A. I think it's really good value. So... Yeah, definitely look at joining the Roller Coaster Club in Great Britain and get on some events if you can. This is the last event they're doing this year, but for next year, definitely look into it. Last but not least then, I just thought that I'd talk about a couple more things to do with plans for the channel for the coming weeks. So, obviously that Wicker Man, um, or Woodathon event, should I say, is on the 28th of Saturday the 28th of September, uh, I might do a vlog from it, well, I probably, yeah, I'll do a vlog from it, why am I saying I might, I should definitely do a vlog from that, not sure how I'll kind of present that vlog yet, uh, I'll plan out what we do depending on how the day goes, but I'm going to film something from that day, definitely, uh, but yeah, I'm just going to talk about my upload schedule then, so as I said uh, a couple of weeks ago, I said I'd be doing like one maybe one video a week probably when I go back to college which is uh, after this Sunday uh, Blackpool Pleasure Beach I'm going to which is going to be a net, nice end to end the summer on Thrillnet especially if we do get to meet Theme Park Mads uh, but yeah after that it's probably going to be one video a week maybe one every two weeks obviously from my experience at college last year the workload is quite high with the course I'm doing, it's quite constant. And last year was actually kind of worse in the sense that I was technically having to do college stuff like four days a week, as in 
I only had one day that I wasn't at college. There was another day where I technically wasn't at college, but I did have to do something to do in my course uh, somewhere other than college. So it wasn't like I could do what my want I wanted and get my college work done. However, this year I won't have to do that, which means I'll only be in college three days a week. The other four days, uh, I'll not be in college. So I'll that'll give me the time to edit any videos. And also, obviously, doing my college work, which college work being priority. That's why I'm saying that it might be one video every two weeks or something like that. Sometimes, sometimes one video every week, just depending on how much I have to do. But I'm hoping that with me having that extra day, it's going to give me that extra time to get the college work done. So then I'll have more time to spend on my channels. So... And I say channels, Game It Right fans, I know I've left you for around six months now. Uh, I'm not sure when I'm going to bring Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door back. It's just I'm so happy with how Thrill Next gone this summer. And the support that you guys have given it, it's just... I don't want to end up having to leave you for the other... Ch I know it sounds harsh because that channel's got 86 subscribers and a lot more... Yeah, that channel's got 86 subscribers, so it seems harsh, but it's just difficult for me to know kind of what to do. I do feel a bit bad for leaving Game It Right, but this channel's just going so well. And I just don't feel that I have the connection with the fans of Game It Right that I do with um, Thrillnet. Obviously, I have a lot less people subscribed to Thrillnet, and I probably know half my subscribers now, to be honest. I mean, you guys know who you are. I probably know half of you now, to be honest. Uh, but, yeah. Finally, then. I know I said finally for the last part, but I do have something else to add. I've just filmed a video um, about uh, my kind of speculations and what's been announced so far for Halloween at Blackpool Pleasure Beach this year. Uh, that's going to be, hopefully, on within the next few days. I do have quite a bit of editing to do for that, which you'll understand when you watch it. Uh, but I just filmed that, so yeah, you've got that to look forward to as well. Uh, as we bring in the autumn season here on Thrillnet. As I say in that video, I'm probably not going to be doing any Halloween like mazes and stuff because I don't do horror. Uh, but I might do a few more videos like that, so you've got that to look forward to. Uh, but that just ends it off, really. Fine, I'd just like to say one last thank you to everyone uh, since it's going to the end of summer now who supported the channel. I've met quite a few people now through my YouTube channel, uh, one or two outside of YouTube, but I just feel like I've met quite a few people this summer. I know it's not that many, but considering it's YouTube as well, I've never had the connection with fans and my channel this summer on either of my channels. that I've, like This is the biggest connection with fans I've ever had. Like It's crazy to think that... Yeah, it's just... <laughs> I'm losing my words now, but anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for your support over summer. I just, I know it's not much, but it just seems pretty crazy because nothing. I've kind of just made videos that've gone out, people are watching. I'm not. I might have had the odd great video, but to think that I've actually met some people who I speak to regularly through YouTube is just like incredible. But yeah, thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe, check out my social media as I said at the start of the video if you like. Do Twitter or do Instagram, go and check those out. Those out. They'll be on the ending cards uh, that I'll put up in a minute. And they'll also be on, they'll be, they're also in the description. Uh, so yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.